everyone. Uh, just wanted to give everyone a, a, a look at the next sign that we're making. Uh, it's an old vintage postcard from, I believe, the 1940s. Uh, we're going to be putting it today on this metal sublimated prepped sign. Uh, it should only take a few minutes for us to get this on here, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this centered up on the uh, image. And uh, I like to go a little larger than the original image is, but there's a few aspects to this image I really want to try and make sure I capture. Like down at the bottom, there's a number 46. I think that might be the year that this was created. So there's going to be some bleed over in the other areas, but it makes it to where you really get a really good, nice full coverage of the entire image. So we're going to go right about there. I think that's about where I wanted it. And then we're going to tape this down. Uh, the reason I'm taping this down just to make sure that it doesn't move in any of this uh, next pressing or lifting of this process. Uh, if I do, if it moves at all, we'll get what's called ghosting. Uh, basically blurs the image, see multiples of the image across it. I'm only going to put it in a couple of places just because I want to make sure it's secure. It doesn't have to be held down really tight. It's not going to be moving or going anywhere. All right, so now I just need to take this piece of paper, and this is more for the protection of my upper platen. Uh, really, there's nothing going to be transferring onto it. I want to make sure none of that ink that's coming off that sublimation paper gets stuck to my upper platen, so I cover it with this also. So now I'm going to be putting this on here. We're going to be going about a little over 400 degrees for about 60 seconds. Uh, I'm going to be fully heating up this uh, metal plate. That metal plate is actually what's going to be absorbing the heat. That heat is going to be heating up that sublimation and that gas is going to be coming back up off and then uh, getting stuck in that metal. So see you back here in just a few minutes. All right, just a few more seconds here. I'm going to go before the buzzer goes off right about there. All right, so now we're going to pull this out of the way. Like so. Okay, and you'll see that some of that ink is already stuck on here. Now before we pull this plate off all the way, I want to just take a quick peek at the corner. Uh, should be okay, but I don't like taking too many chances. These things can be kind of uh, persnickety here. I'm trying to find my pick. Here we are. Let's see. I just kind of want to check and see if we got a good transfer or not. And I think, yeah, we did. We're good. There we are. See there. It's a beautiful looking postcard. We were able to capture that 46 down in the corner just like we wanted. And uh, it's really great because those colors doesn't look like they uh, were on that page at all. Uh, they weren't on that page at all. It just comes flying off. Six of that metal really, really well. All right, so now we have a fully sublimated tin sheet. This is magnet. Uh, we can magnetize, or not magnetize it. We can stick magnets to it and make it hotter. Or not hotter. We can make it stick to things. So I'm sorry about that. It's really hot right now. That's why I keep putting it down. It keeps melting my glove. Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to uh, get, now we're going to try and get some magnets stuck to the back of it. And then uh, we'll be able to place it pretty much wherever we want. That's it.